What is up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Punch a Cha 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 Club. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here today as we hang out and listen to our awesome montage music. I was thinking about it, and this game is pretty much what happens during a montage scene in a Rocky movie. Except we've just extended it out, we've taken it from montage form and turned it into a video game. We've got a phone call right now, so you know my standard fair joke. I get to go Moshi Moshi, Splattercat to Sue, everyone laughs, and then I cry a little bit inside. I am jealous, though. Hello? Hey, kid, have you kitted out your garage with gym equipment yet? If you save up your cash to buy the right gear, you won't need to keep visiting the gym quite as much. Yeah, I guess that would save me a fair bit of time and money, huh? Yeah, it would. Just make sure you ain't carrying around bags of cash with you. There's plenty of nasty people out there who would love to take it from you. Nah, don't worry, Frank. I'll introduce them to my fists. Gotta introduce you, gotta introduce you to Thunder and Lightning. Watched the rundown last night, although I think Thunder and Lightning were his feet. So, at this point in the game, I feel like it's important to tell you guys, I have basically beaten the game as a strength build in my free time. Because I really, really like the game, I can't stop playing it. I actually have three playthroughs going right now, I've basically beaten one of them, I'm almost there in my other one. And so from this point forward, I'm going to seem to have a lot more knowledge about the game than I did previously. I like to do that, if you're new to the Nerd Castle, I know a lot of people have been coming in from this series through search and whatnot. If you're new to my channel, what I like to do is normally I'll do a couple episodes blind, and then if I feel like I'm struggling or I don't know what I'm doing from there on in, I'll just play the game a whole bunch over the weekend, and by doing that I'll expand my knowledge of the game, and in this case I pretty much beat the whole thing, and then I'll come back and we'll play a lot more efficiently. Now, we lucked out in a lot of ways in this playthrough because I chose to be an agility character. Agility is pretty overpowered right now in Punch Club. Strength is good, and they just buffed it this week. It was underpowered when the game released, and then they buffed it a couple days later, and now it feels a little bit more on key. But agility is fantastic in this game. Let me take a look at our food situation, and once we get our food locked down, we'll decide what we want to do with the rest of the day. We have four steaks. Okay. With four steaks, you also want to fight on cooldown. Did I... Okay, so sign up starts tomorrow. That was foolish of me. So basically what you want to do right now, I'm seeing all my mistakes as I'm coming back in. This is the next recording session for me. So basically what you want to do is you want to fight on cooldown in the Rookie League every single time it's up, no matter what, without fail. Ultimate fights you want to pick and choose. With the Rookie League though, every single time you lose, you still get happiness and you still end up with like skill points and free sort of like booby prizes. And so, if you don't know what a booby prize is, I said this the other day, and everybody in the stream was like, What the hell is a booby prize? Hold on, repeat that last sentence. A booby prize is where you show up to, like, compete on something, and the booby prize is what the, like, runner-up gets. It's the prize that you get for losing, basically. It's kind of like when you go to a race, and they give everybody, like, one of those little gift bags just for showing up. That's the booby prize. It's kind of insulting, but at the same time, you're just like, Eh, at least I got something. So anyways. I think for right now, we should probably work. I find that in the beginning of the game, I'm more efficient when I sit there and I just stock up on cash and I stock up on stuff. You won't want to stock up too much money because there's a mechanic in game right now that I don't much agree with where people will mug you and rob you if you have more than $150 in your pocket. This was designed to stretch the game out and make it so that you couldn't just work a whole bunch at the beginning of the game, buy all the exercise equipment, and then start the game up really, really strong, thus beating it in about four hours. Instead, the robbers will make it so that it'll take you a little longer. However, they did nerf the robbers this week in a patch, so the first robber you fight, I think, is like 2-2-2 two, two, and two or something like that. Whereas before, the robbers were like 8-7-8 and eight when you would fight them, and so people were complaining that the robbers were more powerful than some of the championship fighters that you fight in the Pro League. And people were saying it was hurting their immersion. Now, with our happiness over here, recovering this is going to be a little bit troublesome. Because we don't have a lot of options open to us right now. Did I sign up for the fight? We need to sign up for a fight. Sign up starts in two days. Damn it, I think I missed the sign up for the fight. Alright. Oh, I wish I had done that before I had actually quit this playthrough. I'm actually frustrated with myself. I find that this happens to me a lot. It happens to me a ton. I get frustrated with myself when I come back to my playthroughs. Seeing like the random stuff that I've done. We might get robbed. We're over $150. It's possible. However, you'll get robbed the second that you leave from wherever place you were coming from. So the fact that we didn't actually bodes pretty well. I'm going to buy a bunch of pizzas. I'm going to basically fill up my entire fridge so we don't have to worry about food for a bit. And then I'm going to sleep for a while. And via sleeping, we're going to lose some stats here. That's okay. Basically, I'm just trying to get me stocked up on stuff so that I can hit it super hard once we start training. And not have to worry too much about taking breaks. Unless it's like, breakages in my enemy's bones, and then I will accept that. Them's would be the breaks that I would accept. 
eat four of those. That'll help out a little bit with happiness. If you have trouble with happiness, eat smaller foods that each give you one happiness. So, for example, if you just had energy, I'm sorry, if you just had, like, soda pop for breakfast, if you had sodas for breakfast, you would have to drink, like, seven of them, but that would give you seven happiness, versus filling up my hunger meter with pizzas only gave me, like, four, so... It's just a little strategy I figured out along the way. Happiness is by far one of the most troubling meters if you let it fall off. But at this point in the game, it's not that important, so I'm not going to cry. That actually woke us up at the perfect time. Sign up starts tomorrow. We could probably do the first fight in the Ultimate League, but I wouldn't recommend it. I'm not trying to get my ass broken open right now. Do we have Tyler Durden, though? If we have Tyler Durden, this is another strategy you can use to get your happiness back up. You can go see Roy, and you can drink beer with Roy, and that'll raise your happiness, but it takes a while. It takes a good amount of time, so in the late game, it's not really going to be an option because your stats are going to fall off too quickly for you to use it. But, because we're so early in the game right now, I don't think it's going to be a problem. And in fact, let me eat some food. We're going to go earn some money, and then we will just heavily abuse Roy for right now. We'll just sit there and drink beer with him all day, which sounds like a great plan to me. Live in the dream, pal. Live in the dream. Can you imagine what it would be like to be a beer taster for a living? Like, oh my god, live in the dream. Live it. You get to sit around and drink beer all day, and then you get to write some reviews and stuff. Like, I, I can be like, oh, yeah, it's got kind of a robot's butthole aftertaste. Like, it's fine. Don't even worry about it. Tastes like licking a battery. It's it's fine. Like, You could basically put anything in the review anyways. It's not like anybody who anybody reads those things. It should be fine. I don't want to let my money get too far out of control, because I don't want to get rubba da 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 All right, so here's Roy. Hey, Roy. Hey, fella. Glad to see you going on well I went to pick up my sister but my car broke down damn but that was a pain yeah but anyways I told my sister about you and how great you are she's not really that impressed with all the fighting stuff that we do oh yeah you should go say hi to her you're a great dude <laughs> Adrian thanks man yeah I'll make sure to go say see now this is why it's not great now come on let's talk tactics crap then we can go train together. Alright, so what you want to do here is if you want to get your stats bag, you just chill in the lawn chair. You just sit there and you'll drink beer. And so you say chill with Roy. And you can chill with Roy. I think you can help him work on his... You eat barbecue too. There's meat over there. So it'll refill your hunger as well. But anytime you're having troubles with your happiness, this would be a great way to get it sorted out before you start training again. But like I said, this is only a viable tactic early on in the game. He'll say, like, decent beer. If you work on his engine for a little while by hitting it with a sledgehammer, he'll then say something else, and then you can train with him, and you get a 15% bonus for trading with him. It's just, like, random little things in the game that I've figured out along the way. There's a flower over there. I think you can click on those. Somebody told me you can collect flowers in-game. I haven't really done the storyline with his sister yet, although I did want to talk about the bro code briefly, because obviously dating your best friend's sister kind of off the table most of the time. I'd wait for my friend to clear it first. I don't know. It seems like a great way to like maybe put some stress in there unless the unless the best friend sanctions it. However, that I know our stats are falling off. It's fine, you don't have to tell me. I'm helping my character recover from all of our previous indiscretions. 50% is all you really need to work out quickly, but I'm gonna let it tick up a little bit further since we're on such a good on such a good jam right now. It's day 38 though, and we haven't really accomplished anything. This is kind of embarrassing. How you doing? I'm a friend of Roy's. Hopefully you mentioned me. Oh, hey, yeah. He has to stop talking about how super cool you guys are. He's just as braggy as he was when he was a kid. You met Adrian. High five. I'm Adrian. Nice to meet you. Hey, uh, nice to meet you, too. I, uh, gotta talk to Roy. So how do you make her like you? I don't know what to say. I'd better ask Roy. Yeah, I think you collect the flowers for her or something like that. Let's not work on the love quest right now. The love quest. Not gonna work on that right now. Love Quest sounds like a terrible Star Trek ripoff from like the late 70s, early 80s. It's the Love Quest! This is all gonna be fine, I promise. We're an agility build, so we're gonna face roll our way through the game most of the time anyways. It'll be cool. <laughs> Don't worry, there's nothing, there's nothing to concern yourself with here. So we've got plenty of money so that we can refill our fridge whenever we need to. We can go to the gym whenever we need to. I'm not gonna build a home gym just yet, because I feel like that's something you wanna wait on until your stats are a little higher. Sign up starts in two days. All right, we got time to train back up. In the beginning of the game, what I would focus on is I would focus on multi-purpose stats. And so what I'm going to do is we're going to focus on heavy bag, we're going to focus on tire, and then from there we're going to focus on our main stats. So basically you want to use these up until the timer is done. That'll get you all nice and filled up. The higher your meter is, by the way, the better you work out. So 
You know, make sure your happiness is up. If it's like halfway down, you start getting shitty workouts, and that sucks. These little things right here, I thought they meant when I first started playing that you're getting less points. They actually don't mean that. That's just the little timer, and so you can't use the piece of workout equipment anymore. So just keep that in mind. My suggestion to you would be, let's hit the tire now for a little bit. Oh, is sign up here? Sign up starts tomorrow. Alright, I'm not going to do the ultimate fight just yet. We could use the money, but I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it. There's a lot of things in this game that are very useful to have at certain times, and then they'll run out on you, and so you want to save them for those times when you absolutely need them. Hitting the tire for a little bit. I've actually never done this. I used to chop wood for a workout. I would go for my runs, and then when I got back, I would chop wood for 45 minutes. Basically the same concept. That worked out pretty well, though. It's good for the upper body. You burn some calories. Now that we're here, we don't want to worry about strength too much. I'm going to focus on getting everything to 4. So if I get 4, 4, and 4, that's great, because then I can lock the stats at 4 using skill points. And then we can start working on our main stuff. Our character is going to be agility, and more than likely... We're going to run Stamina as a secondary, I think. I haven't totally decided on that front, but that's what I'm leaning towards. Let's get some agility in. You want to use the punching bag to do that. I also think you can use the jumping rope down here to do agility and stamina simultaneously. So it can be a pretty good investment once you run out of time on the punching bag. We're going to spend a stupid amount of money coming back to the gym in the beginning of the game. It's expensive, but it's not without... It's not without its merits. The gym is actually way better than working out at your house. Even if you have all of the upgraded work workout equipment at your home, the gym still offers you multiple pieces of equipment that work the same stat or multiple stats at the same time. The ones in your house, the Wing Chun is pretty good, and push-ups can be alright, but you just don't have enough workout equipment in your house to really make it super worth it. We need to eat some food, so I'm going to go ahead and take off out of the gym for right now. The other thing that you can do is you can fight this guy right here if you spar with him or if you fight with him. If you win, you get like three or four skill points. And so if you feel like you're running dry on skill points and you just need a couple more, you can pay 10, 15 bucks to get yourself a couple and it's not too bad. There we go. Now we're back in the rotation. So this should be all right. Our stats are not amazing right now. But I think we can make this work. Happiness is recovering. Our cash is looking good. We'll be able to refill our fridge after this. If we can get to the top five in the Rookie League, we'll earn $20 for every win. And then from there, we'll start fighting in the Ultimate League which will give us about $40 a win, and then later on it'll give you almost $200 a win. And at that point, you're fighting professionally, and you won't even need to work a job anymore. You'll just be able to work out all day every day and then fight in between. You'll be living the dream. You'll be doing your hobby as a job, which I think is the goal for a lot of people. Not a lot of people get there, but hey, hang in there. It takes a long time. It took me years to get to the point with YouTube where it became a job for me. And so sometimes you just gotta... Life, life is definitely a slow burn. Life is not like you don't like get big overnight doing anything it's a lot of man hours i think people see like singers and entertainers and stuff like that and they tend to think that they just like lucked into it you know what i mean they're like oh they just showed up one day and some talent scout saw them and now they're famous and yeah, most of those singers have been grinding since they were like 14 15 it's the same way with youtube with twitch it's a slow burn don't get disheartened i get disheartened all the time and you know look where my channel is so hang in there believe me it happens to all of us self-doubt is the constant companion of the creative person Although that might give me maybe giving me way too much credit. I just make videos on the internet. I'm not really creative. I don't really like edit or do anything that denotes creativity. But it'll be fine. Let's not talk about it anymore because I'm getting sad now. Let's go jump some rope for a little bit. We already did heavy bag. We've already done a pretty good rotation here for the day. Strength we'll probably want to focus on a little bit later. Agility is going to be the most important thing though for our build. I'm also going to move things around a little bit with our skills. I've never done an agility build before so this should still be a little bit blind and interesting. I've fought a lot of agility characters, so I know which abilities are the most obnoxious to fight as a strength character. I don't know if that balance also supersedes or I guess can be superimposed over agility characters, but we'll give it a try. We lost a little bit right there. Let's go in. I think we have a fight tomorrow. I'm going to go in on this training right here. We'll give you stamina and strength, by the way, if you weren't sure about it. I'm going to stick to what I said. I'm going to try and get everything up to four, and then I'm going to try and maintain it no matter what we do. 4-4-4 four, four, and four is actually good enough stats for you to cakewalk through a decent chunk of the early game content. It's not going to get it all done, but it should be okay. If we focus on agility a little bit more heavily, we should be alright though. I'm going to try and get agility up to 7 or 8 after everything else is at 4. We'll just focus specifically on agility and see how high up we can get that to go. And we'll make some decisions after that, but for the rest of the day, I think we are going to be on Couch Patrol. 
Let's go ahead and catch ourselves a little nappy poo right here. This guy's house has kind of an interesting configuration. He still has shipping boxes all over the place, so I'm assuming that he just moved here. But, like, it's a weird house. There's no bathroom. Maybe it's on this screen down here in the south. Like, you must go to the great loo in the south. Only then can you alleviate the stresses within thine bowel. That's how they would describe it, like, Lord of the Rings elves would describe going to the bathroom. Do elves actually shit? I always feel like they'd be a little bit too haughty for shitting. Like they'd be too good for it. I don't know. It's a high point of my day. We're not classy around here. If you're new, this is not a classy channel. This is definitely... This is definitely a channel where grisly things are going to be discussed on occasion. And you can either, like, get down or lay down with it. But it ain't gonna change. It ain't gonna change. So, your fights are mandatory. If you sign up for a fight, you have to fight it at the end of the day. But you can work out until the day is over to try and get your stats up if you're, like, right there on the edge. And you wanted to go into a fight with 3, 4, and 4 instead of 2, 3, and 3. There's little things to think about before you go on in. Who are we up against this week? We're up against Gordon. Eh... He's got us outskilled. He's got us outskilled, but I think we can take him. Our accuracy is actually kind of bad right now. Hmm. I may run punch instead. I don't know if we'll be able to take this guy. We're going to give it a go. I might be stacking too much strength because stamina stacks with your strength. And so in general, I'm sorry, agility. Oh my god, what am I trying to say right now? So if you're running agility, all of the agility abilities get nerfed if you run strength. So we might not want to run strength with them. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I may actually let my strength fall off and keep it at like a 2 while working on like 14 agility or something. I don't know. I'm not super good at the game just yet and agility builds are still somewhat new to me. Right now, I'm keeping high accuracy abilities in. Anything with an 80% or above is what I'm aiming for. He's got us beat with regard to agility. Agility tends to be the go-to stat that I look at when I'm trying to decide if I'm going to win a fight or not. He's also got an ability that deals damage to us every time we miss him, and he dodges. So that can also cause some pain here. Did he get health back, or have I just not damaged him that much? Must not have damaged him that much. All right. I doubt that we're... I mean, we might be able to win this one if we can keep him on the ropes and not lose all of our stamina. But... Come on, Booty Botto. You gotta keep him on the ropes, man. You gotta keep him on the ropes. Don't let him strike back. There you go. If you can keep him on the floor, we'll be alright here. We just don't want to let him up, basically. Every time we're kicking him, we're nerfing his stamina. So this is the point at which we're really going to start to check this guy's jaw and hopefully get in there. I mean, obviously he's going to fire back every now and again. And that's trouble for us if we can't stay out of the... Exactly. Like that right there. If we can't stay out of the way, it's going to be trouble for us. We've got him beat in the stamina game. And so my hope would be that the AI would just keep spamming abilities at him so that it keeps draining his stamina every time we hit him. But we lost. That's okay. You're going to lose in this game. Don't get discouraged about it. Like, seriously. Oh. Sounds great, Silver. You know magic isn't real, right? Ah, you can call it magic, but my buddy calls it science. If you're interested, meet him at the sports equipment store. He'll have the details. There we go. So now we've unlocked the sports equipment store, which means that we can buy the workout equipment for our home. The difference in here being is there's a potion vendor over there. It's a guy that wants to sell you steroids, basically, so you can get stronger faster. The potions will add, I think, two and a half points to one of your stats for, like, 48 hours or something like that. I used them last night in the stream, and it was fantastic. It allowed me to win a fight that I otherwise would have lost. How are our skill points looking right now and our basic skills? Not super good. Not super good. Okay, yeah, we want to let our strength fall off. You see right here, what, what this means, this gobbledygook here, is that the math of it is that the little pink weight is your strength score. And so, as you can tell, with agility abilities, you want your strength to be a lot lower so that you don't drain a lot of stamina for using the abilities in here. These are the ones we need right here that allow you to lock your abilities, so we'll start working on those two. Essentially, this is going to be an uphill climb, and it's going to take a while. We're not going to accomplish this overnight. We already signed up again, right? Good. That's perfectly fine. We've got enough cash. Let's get back in here and keep working out. we got stuff to do. I'm going to allow that strength to die, though. I think I'm going to let my strength stay at 2 instead. 
I don't know. You're not going to hit hard as an agility character no matter what you do, so I wouldn't stress about it too much. It's back to speed bagging. Bobbity, 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 bobbity. That's the noise that it makes inside my head when I would describe like Bugs Bunny doing a speed bag. A speed bag sounds like a gnarly sex move. Your shape is better than ever. You look better than me. What does that mean? Goal complete. What? Oh, I had to get a stat to five. I forgot about that achievement. Okay, that's cool. You don't get anything for it. Like, sometimes it'll unlock other things that you can accomplish, but meh, not so much. Not so much. I'll probably work strength in up to four once we get to, like, the back end of the league. I may just focus entirely on agility, take this up to, like, ten or twelve. Keep stamina at, like, four or five just for the defensive so that, like, when we're dodging and stay out of the way, we don't take quite as much damage. But other than that, I think our training regimen is going to be really, really standard for right now. There we go. We're actually going to be spending less stamina for abilities now, which is a good thing for us. I don't have a lot of agility workouts left that I can do. Got to keep that stamina up. We'll keep that jump rope rocking real fast. You know, he's looking... I was talking about this the other day. He's looking pretty good for somebody that, like, has no stats. You start as a 1-1 one, one, and a 1, but he's still pretty ripped. I was telling people in the stream that I have no idea... Like, what exactly would my stats be? If he looks that good as a 1-1-1, one, 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 what would my stats be? There's no way my stats are going to be flattering. It's going to be awful, I know already. It's just going to be the worst. I'm going to be like, there's going to be a little minus next to my stat, basically. It's going to be negative. I've always kind of wondered what my attributes would be if I was like a D&D &D character. Like, what would I have like 18s in? I don't think I would have 18s in anything, because that means you're so undeniably talented. That, like, you're a force of nature if you have an 18 in anything. I don't really want the strength, but I need to work the other stuff. And so that's what I'm going to do. And then once we get agility up a little bit higher, what I'll do is I'll step out. And because all these are on a little timer, we'll eat our dinner. We got a moo moo meat right there. I'm going to go take a rest. We'll go buy more food. Then we'll go back to the gym. Essentially, we just got to keep this thing rolling. You always want to be making some kind of forward progress in this game. Don't get quagmired, basically. If you get stuck... I got stuck in one of my playthroughs where I felt like I was fighting against too much stat loss and some other things because I didn't play it properly. I was kind of... There were better ways I could have used my time, unfortunately, and I just didn't know what I was doing. Did we already beat up the robber in here? Yeah, he called us my hero, so I assume he beat up the robber already. I... Let's go ahead and refill our fridge real fast, and then we're going to have to work a shift or two, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and put in right here. So that somebody asked me what the difference was between delivering pizzas and doing construction work. Construction work, you get a little bit of stats, but it drains your happiness and your hunger faster. And then the secondary effect that it has is that it also drains your... It drains basically your stats very, very quickly, if you want it in a nutshell. Versus delivering pizzas drains your stats a lot slower, but you don't earn quite as much money and you don't gain stats from it. So it just kind of depends. It's situational. It depends what you need out of your job at any given moment. If you're just trying to make 30 bucks real fast, uh, delivering pizzas will do a lot less long-term harm. Whereas, we got a fight today, and it's going to be against Lenny Moskovitz. Okay. These abilities are actually, see, they're going to cost a lot less stamina now. I don't know if I have any other agility abilities in here. Doesn't look like I do. And so we don't have a real good docket of abilities yet. I think we should be able to take Moskovitz. I don't think we should have too many problems with him. At a certain point, our dodge is going to become really, really, really difficult to hit us with. And so hopefully, we'll be able to, like, grind people down that way. The other benefit that agility holds is that their abilities are super cheap. They don't hit very hard, but your abilities are straight ridiculously cheap. And so you don't tend to gas out either, unless somebody's landing lots of hits on you. Dodge is really, really efficient. It's pretty good right now as far as the game's concerned. In the first round, we didn't manage to get his energy down as far as I would have liked. But I think we should be able to make this happen. Our fights are naturally going to be a lot longer than a strength character. Uh, if you like strength characters, this game, it's alright for strength characters. The beginning of the game is going to be really, really difficult. The end of the game is going to be a lot easier, though. So with strength characters, essentially what goes into a strength character is I usually knock people out in the first round with my strength character. And if I don't knock them out in the first round, I gas out and I'm toast. We put him to sleep. We rub that bald head for good luck with our fist. All right, stay on him. Keep moving. Yep, keep him debuffed. Keep dealing damage. Keep hurting. If you can't hurt him physically, hurt him emotionally. Talk shit. Got to get that Musashi in there. Get him off guard. Make him angry. Make him angry. He's punching too much. Ugh. There we go. Knock him down. Make him go nighty-nighty. 
Got him with the leg breaker. He's going to drain his own stamina now with the combo, which means we should get the knockdown right there. We're even in this fight out. We're even it out, but we just missed a whole bunch. Come on. Get him. There's nothing to swap in. I would recommend you move your abilities around quite a bit in between rounds. Oh, he's got Boxing Punch. No wonder he's doing so well. Boxing Punch is amazing. It's a tier 2 ability. I still use Boxing Punch like at the end of the game for certain strategies. Boxing Punch is really, really good. Keep debuffing that stamina and hopefully he'll gas out quicker. Every time we kick him with that low kick, it drains his stamina. Our fights take a long time as an agility character. Wow. I didn't even realize. If we could just stay on this guy, we'd have a chance, but we're dealing such a small, negligible amount of damage every time we hit him. Yeah, and if he keeps landing shit like that, we ain't gonna win. We ain't gonna make it. A little seven combo right there. Drain down a little bit on his stamina. Come on, Moskovitz. Taste that mat. It's it's strawberry flavored, I promise. Just go down there and lick it. It'll be fine. Six strategies with splatter cap. Keep dodging. All right. Come on. Yep. Almost there. God, that was that was painful to watch. That took a while. I've never played an agility character before, so this is taking a bit. My strength character either knocks them out in the first round or not at all. That's basically the way he works. It's just bam, 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 138 combo, or I lose. So we got $20 for that one. That's nice, because that'll save us a little bit of time. We also got five skill points, which is great. We lost 40 health because we got worked pretty good. We got a bunch of happiness, though, which evens out what we lost from work. My suggestion now would be to get high kick. It does five damage compared to four. Mm. Backhand high punch, I think, is what we're going to work towards. Look at the accuracy on that thing. Man. All right, so we'll go with high kick for right now. Wait turn. Skip attacks can be pretty good if you're having trouble with stamina, but it's a situational ability. You don't want to use it all the time, otherwise it'll get you into trouble. My name is Splattercat. That's going to be the end of our next episode of punch a cha 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 Club. I will see you all in future episodes. Thank you for stopping on by. It's always a blast to have an audience with me here experiencing the fun indie games that I get to take a little bit of time with every single day. I will see you in future episodes. How do, everybody?